Grown people, just grow up. Grown people, please, just grow up. Because the kids, they don't deserve it. So many innocent children born into this world, they don't deserve it. When you sitting there holding grudges, so what your relationship didn't work out. Well, why do the kids have to suffer? People don't look at this. The kids are always in the middle, hurting behind you and your stupidity. So grown people, please grow up because these children, they do not deserve it. And you know, I was talking to this, this young lady at the church at the other day, and she was talking about how her parents are so at it with each other all the time because they are full of anger. They didn't work out so they are, they didn't work out so now they got the child that's here. And the child is about 13, 14 years old, but the child is always stuck in the middle. Got a 14 year old and a five year old who is hurting so deeply. Because all they see is their parents at it. And I gotta say this again, grown folks, grow up and quit putting these child in the middle because they didn't deserve it. Yeah. And, and this is turning up so many homes right now. Because somebody's always mad and trying to get even like the Bible say don't do. And then wondering why these children growing up full of anger. I know too many people that grew up without their daddy. But still, why should you show anger? And I know too many women disrespecting their child, cussing their children out, mad at their father that they left so they're going to take it out on their kids. This happened every day. And that ain't the way. God, and wonder why God ain't blessing them. See, you got to be careful what you do to people. You better be careful, especially what you do to a child. Because what goes around comes around even harder. Yeah, what you do to people will come back on you. And there's too many little kids growing up full of anger. Because they got to sit there and take in all of your stupid mess. You just like your daddy. You ain't going to be nothing. You sorry too. That ain't the way you treat children. Oh, y'all saw this lady at the store telling her own son that. You mad that the baby daddy done left. And men do the same thing. Yeah. The child don't deserve that. They don't need to see no more criticism, no more negative stuff. Show them how to be loved. Show them about love. And teach them the right way to grow up. So what? There is no father in the house. But it's some people that you can take them around. And you even got to be careful with that. That's why I say church folks, please get these churches in order. And start talking about some of these subjects for the young people. Because the young people are dealing with some stuff. And I'm so sick of the old generation saying, oh, that ain't nothing y'all going through. Man, y'all, that ain't nothing. You ain't went through nothing. I got a newsflash for you older people. There's some things that young people are going through that's that's terrifying, terrifying and it's horrible. And it is, it is tearing them up on the inside. And y'all always want to say, well, y'all had it easy. Y'all ain't got to struggle like we No, they struggling still. And that kind of turns young people off when older people. The old supposed to teach the young, not disrespect the young. Just like the young don't supposed to disrespect the old. But we are not being taught these things. The only way to learn how to be disciplined is to be, is to be taught how to be disciplined. That's why you discipline your child when they're growing up. We too busy trying to be the children's friends instead of being the parents. Too many women in the club with their daughters trying to do the same thing their daughters doing. Now sit your old butt at home and quit trying to be your daughter's friend and going out trying to wear the same dresses that's, that you can't wear no way they're too short. That looks so disrespectful. How you going to teach your daughter how to be a woman and you ain't even being one yourself? Yeah. You want to go out to the thugs. <laughs> we see this stuff all the time, man. So when there is no discipline, that's why children grow up the way they grow up. So grown folks, grow up and stop putting these children in the middle because they don't deserve it. You got some good children that's turning bad because they got bad examples of what not to be. Yeah. And I hate to see women cussing their children out. I hate to see a man cussing his son out. Passing the weed to his son. And doing all the things that you don't even suppose to do. And wondering why that child is seven, eight years old already jacked up. They don't deserve it. 
They do not deserve it. I know you can say you don't deserve what happened to you too, but you, it's an old saying, you make your bed, you got to lie in it. You cannot point fingers at people for your mistakes. You can point at yourself. I know I done made a lot of mistakes in my life, and I put the blame on myself. That's why I learn from every mistake that I have ever made. I learn. I live and I learn from it. And we got to quit doing these children like this because they don't deserve it. So grow up. Yeah, people get mad and running off with the children, and, 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 and it's, it's just disrespectful and it's hurting the children even more. Yeah, it's too many baby mamas tripping. It's too many deadbeat daddies that don't want nothing to do with their children. Fathers, let me say fathers, they don't want nothing to do with their children. They ain't getting mad when somebody else raising them. It's too many children in the world that need to be loved and nobody there to show them love. Yeah. That's why you got to let your child be disciplined. You can't baby them all their life. Oh, and, and wonder why these young, these young men are growing up soft. They already see these things in the world, and then when, when they're in their house, they just being treated so soft-like. You see things that's wrong, and you still don't try to straighten it up. Yeah, and that's hurtful for a kid. And, and these kids are growing up full of anger. They are. They walking around there with some anger. And that's why half of them are locked up. They are full of anger. And they never get rid of that anger. They hold those grudges for years and years. And these are good children. They just went on turned the wrong way. Because they feel nobody cares about them. And then when they go to the church, church folks don't want nothing to do with them and want to down talk them. So people in general, let's grow up. Yeah. Because it's not making no sense to do these children like that. Half of these grown-ups, that's why they are like they are. Because as a child, they was done the same way. There's too many young women getting pregnant at an early age and their mama kicking them out of the house. Because their mama's mad at them. And their mama's did, some of the mamas did the same thing. It's all about discipline. Because I don't know about y'all, when I grow up, I didn't like being, I ain't like getting whoopers too much. I straighten up. So let's straighten up and teach the children instead of putting them in the middle. God bless you.